کنید Hi guys and welcome to our WWE Backlash 2023 prediction video. Yes, I'm back with Callum for our next prediction video. And yes, it is Backlash, the usual pay-per-view that usually comes after WrestleMania. So of course, WrestleMania 39 was nearly a month ago now. My goodness, hasn't time flown? So here we are with Backlash. Now, it's back to being called just Backlash because the last two years, I think it was called WrestleMania Backlash, but they've, they've, they've changed it back to the original name, which is, I prefer. I prefer. And uh, what's different about this year's Backlash is it's taking place in Puerto Rico, the shining star of the Caribbean. Um, now, people are saying this is the first pay-per-view to take place in Puerto Rico. It actually isn't. There was It's the second. We had one in um, 2005. I just looked up. It was New Year's Resolution, I think. So, and the main event was like an elimination hero match. Anyway, anyway, so, but yeah, here we are, 13 years later, uh, with uh, Backlash again in Puerto Rico. So, yeah, Callum, are you looking forward to Backlash? Uh, um, yeah, I mean, I look forward to any wrestling show because I just... You know, obviously, I'm a you know we know we're massive we're massive fans by now, and I obviously like to watch the wrestling and see who wins the matches. But uh, you said there were seven matches on this card, and I was trying to go through them in, in my head during the intro just to see if I could remember who all of them were. And I think I've only got about four or five of them, and I can't even think about like what the rest of them are. So um, I haven't thought about what I'm going to predict for any of these matches at all before the video. So. We're going in. We're going in very much winging this one, um, but yeah, I mean, I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure there'll be a, there'll be some good matches. So let's get <laughs> into it. Are you, are you just not that bothered about this show? Do you think it's just a bit a bit of a palate cleanser? I mean, I don't know. I think I think WrestleMania WrestleMania for me is still a bit sore. The end of WrestleMania still. So you know, yeah. But also, then you've got Night of Champions in what is it about three weeks? And obviously, yeah. that's when that's when the new World Heavyweight Championship is going to be on the line. So you know, to me, Night of Champions with all with all the champions defending the belts historically, that's what the pay per view has been anyway. Um, you know, that one coming up seems to be the, the one that I'm kind of more excited about, I guess, compared to this one. Um, but like I said, I'm sure the matches will still be good. So, and I'll still yeah. watch it, of course. But um, yeah, yeah, I do agree. This this does feel like more of like a filler pay-per-view in Puerto Rico just to kill some time and have a bit of fun before we get to the big Saudi show at the end of May. But still should be a good show, I think. We've got some we've got some good matches on this card. So okay. Let's get started then. So the first match, uh, let's get it out of the way straight away. We have a singles match. Yes, we have Seth Rollins going up against Omos. <laughs> so this match got announced there was no build, no hype, nothing. They've had one interaction on Raw since then. Where they just had a stare down. I, 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 I don't, now, I've heard that this match has happened because apparently this is punishment for Seth Rollins because he walked out of Raw after WrestleMania because his segment got cut. So he was apparently this is punishment. He's got to have a match with Omos. Well, apparently, this is the but. Um, yeah, I just, Omos is fresh off his loss against Brock. Doesn't matter, he's just going to face Seth now, like, like it didn't happen. Okay. Uh, okay, Callum, who have you got and why? Bizarre match. I don't really know what to say. I mean, I'm fairly certain it was announced after a SmackDown, which, is not, which, neither, which neither person is on, even. And I was like, hold on a minute, did I miss something on, on, on Raw? And has this been announced? No. It was it was just it was just there. There was a poster for it. And I was like, what? And then like you said, they, they had a they had a stare down uh on, on Raw, I think obviously probably this week, start of this week, and then that was it. So um I don't know. I I have no idea. Um but you see, I would think Seth Rollins is probably gonna be one of those people who's in the tournament for the World Heavyweight Championship on Raw. But I also don't think Omos can lose again, unless because if Omos loses again and he loses to Seth Rollins, 
then that's two pay per views in a row. And if you're trying to if you're trying to make him something, you can't have him lose two consecutive pay per views. Um, and then is Seth Rollins in hot water because of the whole thing? Uh, is his punishment to lose to Omos and then? But then you can't have him then be in the World Heavyweight Championship tournament because it doesn't look credible if he loses to Omos. Um, but I just can't see how Seth wins. I think I, I mean I want to go. I want to go Omos. I want to say Omos wins. Um, I just can't see. A, I just can't see a scenario in which Seth can do anything to him. Um, you know, Omos has only won a ha- lost a handful of matches, and they've all been to big guys: Bobby Lashley, Brock Lesnar. Seth Rollins is a is a, a light heavyweight, if that a, a cruiserweight, even you could say. So, yeah, Omos. Yeah, um, yeah I, it's weird, but I'm, I'm trying to think. Neither guy can afford a loss. Seth, like you said, Seth needs to look strong if he's going to be a contender for the World Heavyweight Championship tournament. If there's going to be a tournament, what, whatever, we'll see. Um, almost, like you said, fresh off his loss against Brock, but him and Bobby Lash, him, him and MVP were acting like it was no big deal. Going, this is the Nigerian giant. I'm like, well, he's just lost to Brock Lesnar clean. So why are you still acting like he's this big deal when he couldn't be when he he's meant to be a giant, but he couldn't he didn't he lost to Brock? I, I don't know. Um, I'm gonna go with either a DQ or a count out. I don't because I think I think they'll do that. I think there'll be a big fight outside the ring and there's a double count out or there's a DQ finish because neither guy can afford to lose. So yeah, I'm going I'm going with a DQ or count out finish. Yeah. That's my prediction. E- either guy wins by DQ or it's a count out. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> and we can just move on from this, hopefully. Uh, <laughs> it's gonna be weird though, seeing if Seth can hit a curb stomp on Omos, well, probably can, but it would just be funny seeing him. Okay. Right. Uh, next up, let's have a look at the at the Z-card. Um Okay. We have a triple threat match for the United States Championship. Yes, we have Austin Theory defending his belt, going up against Bobby Lashley and Bronson Reed. So... Um, how did this feud get started? Bobby Lashley won the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. He eliminated Bronson Reed. Then those two had a bit of a fight, didn't they? Which were led to a double count out and they had, a, they had a big brawl. Then Lashley had a match with Austin Theory in a non title match. And then Bronson Reed got involved. So they're kind of an intertwined. Now here we are with a triple threat match. Um, should be good. You got Bronson, I, like, I like Bronson Reed. I think he's got a lot of potential. Bobby Lashley's great. Austin Theory, fresh off his win over John Cena, even though it was a rubbish win at WrestleMania. Uh, but anyway, wins a win over John Cena, I guess he'll keep saying. Um, it's, it's tricky because you could make a case for all three men. I think Bronson, give it to Bronson Reed, big push for him. Bobby Lashley, I don't think needs the US title now. But if he won it, whatever, another, another good reign for him. But I'm, I'm going to say Austin Theory retains. I think he'll retain. He'll, he'll find some sne- sneaky way while Bobby Lashley and Bronson Reed are kicking, beating the hell out of each other. I think he'll get some sneaky way of winning, maybe a, a roll-up pin or something. So, yeah, because I, th- I think Austin Theory has got a bit more, bit more steam left as US champion. Um, maybe till maybe till SummerSlam. So, should be a good match. But I'm going to go with Austin Theory to retain. Callum. Um. Bobby Lashley's been drafted to SmackDown as of last night, and Gunter and Imperium have been drafted have been drafted to Raw. So now, technically, if although Austin Theory is undrafted, Raw technically has the IC and US title as it stands right now. I'm sure, I'm sure Austin Theory is probably going to have to be drafted by SmackDown on Monday, because otherwise. You know, but then, but then that kind of makes me think maybe maybe Bobby Lashley wins it at Backlash and takes it over to SmackDown, and then obviously that then he's he's the US champion over there. Um, I just feel like if Bobby Lashley loses, like I mean, Austin Theory's had a good reign with the belt, I guess. Um, you know, his match with John Cena at WrestleMania was was a terrible opener. Um, but I mean, his reign's been okay. You know, since since um. Uh, since he won that triple threat with Seth Rollins and Bobby Lashley, I think it was, wasn't it? Um, again, um, 
So if Bobby doesn't win, then where does he go? And then obviously Bron- Bronson Reed is, it will still develop and things. I don't think Austin Theory will will be damaged too much if he loses at this point right now. Um, but I think maybe Bobby would. I think. Oh, I don't know because I, I don't want. I kind of don't want it to to be traded to Bobby Lashley again because the US Championship has just been Bobby Seth Theory. Um, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, I'm oh, I'm gonna go for Bobby Lashley. I think um, I don't know why. Um, although I could see Austin Fever being like that that heel that just always somehow comes out with wins, like he did in the Triple Threat. Um, with again, was it another Triple Threat with Bobby and Seth he retained in? I can't remember. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna go Bobby Lashley anyway. But I don't know. I'm just waffling now. <laughs> fair, fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> It could be any one of the three men, but I, I, I personally think theory. But it will be, it will be a good match. Thing, I think, yeah. Okay. Uh, next up, we have is a six-man tag team match. Yes, we have Matt Riddle, Kevin Owens, and Sami Zayn versus the Bloodline. Uh, Solo Sokoa, Jey Uso, and Jimmy Uso with Paul Heyman. Uh, no Roman Reigns because yeah, I'd like he was going to wrestle at this show. <laughs> he's taking some time. He's taking some time off. So. Yeah, this feud's continuing. Obviously, now now Riddle's in the fold as well. He came back the Raw after WrestleMania, didn't he? Um, they had a match last night for the tag team belts, and obviously Sammy and KO retained. Good match. Um, yeah, I've got no problems with this. It should be a fun six-man tag team match. Um, Callum, I'll, I'll start the last one. So who have you got? Uh, Bloodline or Sammy and KO and, Rid- and Riddle? It's a difficult one because I think, you know, they're still going with the narrative of Sami Zayn trying to get into Jey Uso's head. Like, and I think it was on Raw, they had a conversation backstage. And don't forget, Jimmy and Jay lost last night after they, they promised to dedicate the match to Roman Reigns on Monday. So again, you've got that hanging over their head. Jay seemed worried and was talking to Jimmy about it on Raw. Um interestingly, Roman and Solo Sokoa were drafted to SmackDown last night. But the Usos are in a separate... Like, the Bloodline's not all of them together. The Usos are a separate package. So part of me almost thinks they're maybe going to get drafted to Raw on Monday. And then the Bloodline kind of splits that way. Um, I don't know. There's, there's, a, there's a lot of different things going on here. And does does Riddle need the win? I mean, it's not for the tag belt. So maybe Sam and KO don't need the win either. But I think mm. everything that's going on with the Bloodline... Um, still, and maybe you know, maybe could could Jay turn here again? I I think it may be t- too soon. I'm not sure how that will work. Um, but obviously the Monday night draft will have been by that then, so we'll know where the Usos are. So maybe that will change things. But I'm actually going to go for Riddle and Ko and Sammy. I think I'm going to go for the I'm going to go for the faces to win. I think not sure why. Um, I mean Roman's not there unless Roman comes and gets involved in the match to to help them. But I'm I'm. You know, I'm just thinking, I'm just thinking, why not? Hey, Sammy Riddle. Okay. Um, fair enough. I, it's tricky. Um, I think either team could win. But, mm, I'm going to go Bloodline. I think they could do with a win. The bloodline could do with a win. <laughs> I, I, I just said that. No, but just because, I mean, Jay and Jimmy, they lost at WrestleMania. They lost last night. They aren't, like you said, they're teasing dissension with Jimmy, with Jay Uso. Where, like, what's going on with him? Because, like, he's not fully fully there, like the tease. And like Sammy, you said. So we, we know, I think we know at some point, Jay will stab Roman in the back, probably in Roman's next big title defense, maybe, maybe SummerSlam. We'll see. We'll see. Um, but till then, yeah. And then Solo, he's kind of kept looking strong. He hasn't lost many matches, I don't think, apart from... Has Solo been pinned yet? I think it's yeah, he lost once to, to Cody on the Raw before WrestleMania. Oh, yeah, he did. Um, that, that, In my opinion, that should be a match, Cody and Solo, because Solo's the one who cost Cody the match at WrestleMania, and they've acted like that's not a big deal in there. Solo's the one who... To Cody, he, he cost him the belts. So why yeah. isn't that more... Be made more of a bigger deal. I don't, I don't know. And another well, Cody, thing, is a bit, Cody is a bit preoccupied with another, another monster kicking his yeah, ass we'll, for now. We'll, we'll get there, yeah. But another <laughs> thing, I'm not happy with how they they haven't showed Roman 
with the Usos since they lost the belts. Have you noticed that? Not one, yeah, that happened, uh, not yeah. one segment. The Usos were tag team champions for what? Two, a year and a half, two years? So where's there should, there should have been at least one segment of Roman like ver- like really having a go at Jay and Jimmy for losing the belts. Not, not one. I don't I don't get just just all we all we've got is oh the tribal chief ain't happy with you two. The tribal chief we got us like that's it. I'm like, come on. Like the, the bloodline storyline's been so good, but they there's a they're just missing a few bits and bobs here. Maybe I'm just nitpicking. Yeah, right. Um but good good line to win, but if I could very much see Sammy KO. And, and Riddle getting the win as well, the big big baby face win. But I just think give give the Usos a win, it keeps the Bloodline looking a bit strong. Because there's a bit, there's a bit. Oh, they're back, they're back. And then maybe maybe Roman does something drastic the week after on some on Raw or, or SmackDown. So yeah, okay, mm-hmm. right. Let's continue then. Um, okay, we have a singles match for the WWE Raw Women's Championship. Yes, we have Bianca Belair defending the belt, going up against Io Sky with damage control, Bailey and Dakota. So Io Sky, I believe, um, did she win a number one? Yes, yeah, she won a triple threat match, didn't she, to become number one contender? Um, and yeah, this should be a very good match. I mean, I'm happy Io Sky is finally getting somewhat of a, a push. Well, this is a push. Because you know she was a very good NXT Women's Champion, although um, someone just mentioned this to me, Bianca's Raw Women's Champion, but she's been drafted to SmackDown. Yeah. What? So are her and Rhea going to swap belts like like Becky like Becky and Charlotte did a few? I years was about ago? to say people hated that though. Remember, people hated how they just swapped the belts like that when they first when they transferred like, over. They're going to have to unless they're they going to have to. Yeah, you can't um, have the Raw. You can't have the Raw Women's Champion on SmackDown, and presumably Rhea will get drafted to Raw. So unless EO wins, and EO stays on Smack on Raw. Ooh. No, because Damage Control have been drafted to SmackDown as well. I haven't, I haven't been giving up with the draft, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. uh, okay, um, should be a good match. Um, I think EO EO will come close a few times, but I think it's quite quite predictable. Bianca Belair, because there's there's literally been no feud. There's hardly been any feud. Very similar to Bianca's feud with Asuka at the WrestleMania. There's been next to no feud. So I, I just don't understand. Bianca's meant to be one of your top women in the company and her last two title feud matches. I've just, well, matches were great, but the feuds were just not nothing. So, but yeah, B- Bianca Belair should be should be a very good match nonetheless. Callum? Yeah. Um, I, I think, I, I don't think I can see Bianca losing it to... Io Sky, and not, not not that I think that Io wouldn't be a good champion because I do, and I also think if she were to win it, it would be interesting to see what would happen between her and Bailey and as well eventually, which kind of makes me think maybe she will win actually for maybe maybe sort of, you know to cause a bit of tension between damage control, but Bianca, I don't know, maybe maybe switching over to another brand will be where like you know, and then Bianca maybe will lose it on uh, on Saturday at Backlash instead. Um, I'm gonna say Bianca retains. Yeah, uh, part of me was gonna go with Sky, and, and, and you know I do think she could, but again I've, I've bet against I get bet against Bianca at WrestleMania, and I didn't get the points. I'm gonna go for it this time. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Both with Bianca Belair. Okay, next up, let's have a look. Okay, let's go with another women's match. Yes, we have a singles match for the. WWE SmackDown Women's Championship. Yes, we have Rhea Ripley defending her belt in her first defense since beating Charlotte at WrestleMania, going up against Zelina Vega. You say that right, <laughs> but as soon as as soon as the, as soon as the stuff with the LWO and the Judgment Day started, um, and I'm sure I'm sure they'll get involved at some point during the match as well. You'd imagine Ray and Dominic and and things like that. Um, uh, Selena Vega was looking really good. She was hitting lots of hurricane runners and things on Rhea. Rhea was selling them massively. I actually think this could be this this match is being underrated massively. I think I think Selena Vega spent a lot of time working um, like on her wrestling, and now she's gonna you know have a massive payoff. She's from Puerto Rico herself as well, so she's in a kind of home country as well to do it. Um, and you know, I think it'll be a really good match. I do like a. a 
you know, you've got a you, well. I mean, Rhea's not a giant, but she's she's large in comparison to Selena Vega. Um, so yeah, I think it could be a really good match. But obviously, Rhea is going to retain. Um, the, the, they wouldn't have they wouldn't have a lose in a first defense. Um, so you know, we can move on pretty quickly because I'm assuming you're probably going to say Rhea as well. Yeah, um, yeah, Rhea Ripley, obviously. Um, I mean, don't get me wrong. Um, Zelina, I've forgotten. <laughs> so, <laughs> I've forgotten. Dakota, um, Dakota Kai. No, uh, Zelina Vega. <laughs> I, I, I like her, but she's. It's like she hasn't. I haven't seen enough of her yet. She, every now and then we're hearing Rhea have a bit of a thing. Um, she gets the better of Rhea. Okay, fair enough. But I just. I think it's cool, but I just. She, she was a manager for so long, like with Alistair Black. Uh, well, Alistair Black, she was, uh, they're married. Yeah, Andrade. <laughs> and, Andrade, and then and LWO. But I like her, but and I, I hope this, she gets a good showing, and I'm sure she will, but Rhea Ripley's definitely going to retain in her first defence. Yeah, 100, 100%. But as long as Bian- Bi- Bianca, oh my God. <laughs> as long as, what's going on? As long as Zelina... <laughs> Zelina gets some good shots in. She gets a few near falls. Maybe they'll, we'll get a thing with Judgment Day and L- LWO at the end, a big, a big scrap. And then through all that, Riptide, one, two, three. So, yeah, but it should be a good match, definitely. Okay, I think we're down to our last two matches. Let me just double check. Uh, I think... I think don't, so. don't, yeah, we are. Okay. So, next up we have, well, even though I th- it might be the main event, let's do this match next. So, because it's the poster of the it's the poster of the pay per view, but I think that's just because Bad Bunny's is a Puerto Rican celebrity, isn't he? So, okay, yeah. we have a we have a Sw- San Juan street fight. <laughs> San Juan. I can just see, I can just see it going through your brain now when you're saying it. I knew what you. Like saying. San Juan, San Juan. We we have a San Juan. There we go. Street fight between Bad Bunny. And Damien Priest. Um, I actually kind of hope for this match because street fights usually are really fun. Uh, bad, it's Bad Bunny's first match in quite a while, but he's back um, in front of his home. <laughs> oh, proper singles wrestling yeah. pay per view match. Royal Rumble was a bit of fun, wasn't it? Um, of course, Damien Priest. Great to see him finally doing something. You know, he's just been doing nothing. I feel bad for him because I, really, I like Damien Priest, man, and I feel like he's just been the, the, the spare wheel when, you know, Ray. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Dom, Dominic, <laughs> uh, Finn, and Rhea. Ray oh, Mysterio oh. heel turn confirmed. <laughs> Dominic, Rhea, and Finn have all had other things where Doc, he hasn't been able to do a lot. But uh, yeah, um, looking forward to this. And. Um, I'll go with this one since you went first with Zelina and um, Rhea. I'll go with... Hmm. Oh, this is quite tricky. This is quite tricky. Oh, Bad bad Bunny. I think Bad Bunny's winning. Um, as much as I don't want him to win, I'd much rather see Damian Priest get the win because I think he needs it more. Bad Bunny's a celebrity. He's going to get a big pop. He'll get, he'll get a big entrance. In front, of, in front of a big hometown crowd, or home country crowd, whatever. Um, and I th- we might get a big thing at the end with like LWO and, and Judgment Day if it's not if it's not on the other match. Should be great. It's going to be a lot of spots, a lot of weapon spots. But I just think Bad Bunny's going to win, sadly. Even though I really want Damian Priest to get this win, I think he needs it a lot more. But yeah, with help from the end, LWO, uh, Bad Bunny picks up the win. But if Damian Priest wins, I'll be like, yeah, I'll be very happy. But s- sadly... I'm going with my head. I think I think they're going to give it to a Mr. Mischief, mischievous Bunny. Callum? <laughs> um, yeah, um, I agree. Um, I think I think Bad Bunny will win again. It's in it's in Puerto Rico. It's a shame because Damien Priest doesn't really see like he hasn't have anything. He doesn't seem to be heading anywhere. You know, Finn Balor is. You know, posting about the World Heavyweight Championship on Twitter, so he might be in the mix for that. Rhea's obviously SmackDown Women's Champion. Um, well, probably soon to be Raw Women's Champion as well when they swap the belts. Um, Dominic's obviously in the feud with his dad still, and and you know, fair enough. Damien's with the New Day. Uh, New Day. 
You'll do. I've passed it. I've passed it on to you. A new day. <laughs> it's a new day. Yes, it is. Um, uh, the Judgment Day, and they're obviously having all that stuff with the LWO. But Damien's just the one who's, you know, he's not. He's not doing anything, is he? So, um, you know, and that's that's a bit of a shame. But I think, you know, I think Bad Bunny is probably likely to win this. There'll be some. There'll be some big spots. Um, you know, he's a very good wrestler. Having already done it a few times, you know, Bad Bunny's awesome. Um, and I'm, I'm sure it'll be a good street fight as well. Hopefully, it'll be you know the the San Juan. I'm guessing this is where the stadium is. It's just the city name, I guess. But if there's any if there's anything different to do with it, then you know that would be that that's cool as well. So um, yeah, it should be a good match. But Bad Bunny's likely to to win. Yeah, the city is San Juan, Puerto Rico. Uh, the, the venue is the Coliseo de Puerto Rico, Jose Miguel Algrelos. Cool. It's it's. <laughs> I think it's the same venue a Day of Reckoning took place in 2005. But anyway, anyway okay. Day of Reckoning? <laughs> what's it, what's it, what's it, what's it, New, Reckoning? Year's, New Year's Revolution, isn't it? Day of Reckoning! I have a name myself before. Use it. New Year's, I said the new, new, oh my god. You said, new, you said New Year's, you said New Year's Revolution. <laughs> a resolution yeah, start, sorry. Fucking hell, New Year's Revolution. It, it took that's, this that's the CEO to the Puerto one. Rico. Yes, it was, it was the same venue. There we go. That's the one. That's all I had to say. F and hell. Right. <laughs> Day of Reckoning. <laughs> was that, was that a video game? Sure it was. I don't know. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh, the highlight, the the the, ju- the highlight, the Judgment Day reel, the highlight reel. <laughs> <laughs> can't, can't even say <laughs> the Judgment Day reel. <laughs> what? That didn't even make sense. <laughs> I think I think I need to have a lie down. What's going on? Okay, so we're both going with Bad Bunny. <laughs> Right, this might be the main event, or or Bad Bunny and Damien Priest might be the main event. I don't know. We'll see. But in my opinion, this should be the main event. Okay, we have a singles match. Yes, we have Cody Rhodes going up against Brock Lesnar. Um, so yeah, Cody didn't win at WrestleMania. We all obviously we won't be talking about that. Then the night after WrestleMania, he wanted a rematch, but then he had a tag team match. Brock was his opponent. Then before the match got started, Brock... partner. Well, what did I say? Opponent. <laughs> okay, so yeah, right. Cody came out and said, "Look, I want my rematch." Roman said no, and he said, "Okay, let's do a tag match." So it was going to be Roman and Solo Sokoa, and Cody needed a partner. So Brock Lesnar's music hit, and we thought we were going to have a tag team match, obviously. And then before the bell rings, um. um Cody. Um, Brock just destroys Cody Rhodes. He throws him around a bit, gives him an F5 to the steel steps, you know, all those sort of things. Um, and, um, yeah, and then that was it. And then Cody came out the week after, was it the week after? I can't remember. You know, was was talking about, you know, why he did it and all these things. Apparently, you know, Brock Lesnar did it because Cody Rhodes is in the main event and, and um, Brock had to... Um, Start WrestleMania Night Two against their master, who was what jealous of Cody being in the main event. I don't know, mm. um, but anyway, yeah, we have we have our match um, in Puerto Rico. I think it was Raw. Cody came out, and there was a l- bunch of like security or something. About the week before, Brock came out and was antagonizing him, and then Cody started beating up some security and some WWE officials. I think, um, but yeah, as far as I know, it's just a, it's just the normal match, right? It's just a singles match. Yeah. So, I mean, is there likely to be another match between the two down the line? I don't know. Maybe maybe that's the final of the World Heavyweight Championship tournament if Brock... Because Cody's been drafted to Raw. So we're still need to wait and see where Brock goes. Um, who's going to win, though? Because part of me almost thinks that they want to keep piling it on Cody just so that he can overcome something big towards the end. Um... But I think surely, surely it has to be. Because Brock did win. 
Brock did beat Omos. I mean, big deal, but he did beat Omos. Um, oh, I'm, I'm going to go for Cody Rhodes. I'm going to go for Cody Rhodes to win. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I'm, I'm going to go Cody Rhodes too. I think he really needs a win. Well, just to get a win back, really, after what happened at WrestleMania when he got screwed by Solo. Um, like I said, that actually really been a, been a match on this show, Solo and Cody. Like Cody getting his revenge on Solo, but they've gone, they haven't, they've just acted like that, whatever. And yeah, this feud doesn't make a lot of sense. What Brock's jealous of Cody? I mean, Brock, Brock's had like what four four WrestleMania main events. So why is he jealous of Cody? It, 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 if that's even the feud in Brock, they had that angle, didn't they, where Cody was beating up all the security and Brock was at the end, just like just like laughing at Cody, like 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 that, laugh, <laughs> laughing at, laughing at Cody. I was like, okay, um, dressed like the Undertaker. Yeah, he was in that big trench coat. Um, should be a good match. Although I keep, I feel like Brock. Brock hasn't had many good matches since he's been this cowboy bearded Brock. You know, apart from really the SummerSlam match with Roman, which was great. Everything else has just been like that, really, hasn't it? With Brock, it's like he just. I think at this point he just wants to do a, do a few suplexes, a few other moves. F five, ten minutes done. That's all Brock really wants to do now. Two two million dollars, please. Um, but hopefully him and Cody have a good match. Um, and yeah, I, I, it'll be a big win for Cody because not many people, apart from apart from Roman, have beaten Brock clean in the last few years. Not in the last few years, clean. Bobby Lashley doesn't count, and Seth Rollins maybe, but that was a few years ago. Um, and Drew McIntyre, but that was a few that was a few years ago. So in recent memory, yeah. So if it's a good win for Cody to get some momentum back, and maybe like you said, if he's going to go for the World Heavyweight Championship or maybe down the line, a rematch with Roman. But if Roman's going to stay on SmackDown and Cody's, Cody's on Raw, maybe they're not going to have a rematch with Cody. Maybe someone else is they're going on, to be... They are on separate brands. Yeah, yeah, so maybe someone unless, else. Unless Cody wins the Raw Rumble again next year and gets to choose oh, God. Oh, <laughs> to, God, get, to challenge Roman on SmackDown. Yeah. In which case it's, it's not likely. I must have the shake, a shake-up again or something. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. But Maybe Cody isn't going to get a, a rematch with Roman. Maybe, maybe someone else is going to beat Roman. We'll see. But um, yeah. Um, well, that, so we're both going with Cody Rhodes, and that is our backlash prediction video. And my mind is backlashed. <laughs> my goodness. So I've, never bot- I've never botched so much in one video going on. Anyway, but yeah. We hope you all enjoy a backlash next weekend, guys. It should be a good show. Um, any other matches that might happen? I, Gunther hasn't got an IC title defense, which is a bit of a shame. I was hoping he'd stick, but he did have a match with Xavier Woods on SmackDown recently. That was that was a good defense, um, yeah. no defense for Gunther, which is a shame. But I'm sure he'll be he'll have a defense at the Saudi, the Saudi show. Um, anything else? The women's tag team belts? No um, shots. No. Um, well, I, I would assume it maybe would have been, you know, um, Ronda Rousey and um, Shayna Baszler, but of course Shayna Baszler might still be. Injured from WrestleMania, so we're probably waiting to get that at some point. Um, um, any, any other belts? I, I think that's it, isn't it? Um, yeah. Obviously, obviously thought, Roman, Roman, but obviously he wasn't. Yeah, gonna, he wasn't going to be I here. Thought, I thought maybe Chris Stratus and Becky might have been leading oh. something to, to now um, for backlash, and then maybe. But I mean, I believe Lita's finished now with her with her run. I think I heard somewhere. <laughs> it's weird because because Trish Stratus attacked Lita. Just to replace her in the match and lose the tag titles and then attack Becky. So I'm not really, sh- I'm not really sure I understand what the whole point of it was. Um, but yeah, I thought maybe we could have like a Trish Stratus and Lita throwback at SummerSlam, in which case, you know, the Becky and, and Trish feud might have might have been got done over the first next two pay per views. And but maybe, but maybe not. Maybe they're just waiting until SummerSlam to do Becky and Trish. So not sure. But yeah. Okay. Yeah, um, and that's that's really it. So, yeah, thank you for watching, guys. Uh, I'll be back with Callum probably mid to late May with our Night of Champions prediction video, of course, going back to Saudi Arabia. Um, that, should, that should be a fun show. All the belts are on the line. But we'll see if Roman will be there. I'm sure, he, I'm sure he'll, oh, they sure he'll be. Oh, they should all be on the line. Night of Champions is the show he gets to a 1,000 days, so he's got to have some sort of, like, c- ceremony at least, like some sort of... Ceremony. <laughs> celebration like with, like, with, all, with all the elders like a thousand days and then out comes the rock <laughs> oh, yeah. and the rock tell the rock challenges him there and then in Saudi Arabia <laughs> never 
Okay, well, thank you for watching, guys. We hope you all enjoy Backlash next weekend. And yeah, guys, me and Callum will be back uh, later on in May. So thank you for watching, guys, and we'll see you all very soon.